This is a collection of manuals of magic from different periods in history. It is often believed that magic and the belief in magic was most common among ordinary people rather than among scientists and scholars. But in reality, magic was taken seriously even by educated people until the 18th century. In the Middle Ages, magical handbooks were quite common among the clergy. This, for example, is a handwritten book of the infamous Key of Solomon, which describes how you can invoke spirits and angels by using magical symbols and invocations. And when invoked, these spiritual creatures then do your bidding and teach you things like how to find hidden treasures or turn invisible. In the Renaissance, some magical handbooks were even printed, most of them written by well-known scholars and scientists. This is a classic work written by the German philosopher Agrippa in the 16th century, describing both how to perform magical rituals, but also theorizing on why these rituals worked. It was not until the 18th century that scientists took a stance against the belief in magic. But still, the belief in magic survived in popular culture. These are some handwritten handbooks of magic from the 18th century containing some really useful recipes like how you can win any lawsuit by carrying the tongue of a bat in your mouth or force a virgin to do your biddings by pinning a worm tooth to her skirt but it only works if it's really a virgin.